what is up foxy people how are we all doing today i know i have not done this in quite some time and i am very very sorry for that had uh, lots of things going on i was doing lots of different extra jobs actually i was doing acting jobs how about that eh just local community stuff but yeah i have been doing some acting jobs how weird uh let me just say so uh other viewers who might be younger might hear I did some seasonal work as a jolly man, which was actually pretty damn cool. And then also did some acting for medical students, acting out patients so they had a little bit of a uh, first-hand experience with certain cases, which was really, really cool. And um, you know what? I really like that whole acting thing. Hopefully I can get into more stuff like that. Uh, but now things have calmed down. We're in the new year. So I am excited to get back into doing some Reddit stories and streaming for you beautiful people. I love you all. How are you all doing today? Have you been doing good? Was it a good New Year for you? Was it a good Christmas for you? That's a bigger question. My Christmas was pretty good. Uh, the family really had fun. Lots of lunch, lots of dinner, lots of alcohol. <laughs> anyway, apart from all that stuff, I am going to do Sunday Reddits. That's right, every Sunday I'm going to get in, I'm going to do Reddit stories. So right now I'm going on, am I the asshole? Uh, oh, sorry, correction, it would be Am I the Foxhole? Yes, that's my little fun little play on words that I do for uh, these little segments, but honestly, I am really looking forward to this, and so with that, let's dive right on in. Okay, Am I the Foxhole for making a scene at my son's school? Okay, well, you're going to make the poor boy embarrassed, so that's a pretty bad thing. So yeah, alright, anyway, let's dive into this. Hello, I am coming to Reddit because I am very uncertain about this issue. I have gotten both positive and negative reactions to my actions, so I just wanted a neutral opinion. And this is the best place for it. <laughs> I'm a Mexican-American mother and my son is 15 years old. He is on the spectrum and is very high functioning. He loves his video games, sports and school. Like nearly every typical kid. Uh, he especially loves history and loves to tell me about it. Oh, that's pretty cool. History is always a cool thing to learn about. This is where the issue lies. My son's history teacher, let's call him Mr. Gonzalez, has frequently come across as a very prejudiced and racist. Oh. Yeah, no, that's not good. Earlier in the year, my son told me that his teacher said that African people weren't as intelligent as non-Africans, and that, wow, is why they were enslaved. Wow. <laughs> See, I'm from Australia, so, um... Even I know that's not cool. Like we have our whole slavery thing. That's just really bad. And just to say because someone's stupider, that's why they get enslaved. Wow, dude, that's mm, check your privilege, buddy. Anyway, that comment alone made me gasp when I told my husband about it. He told me to not make a scene about it. I begrudgingly bit my tongue and moved on. I don't know. A history teacher going around stating that stuff. That's there's something I will be bringing up to the school, definitely on my behalf, and kids on everyone's behalf, honestly. Like, who would want that? Who would want a freaking racist teacher teaching black history or anything like that? Wow. It's going to have such a prejudiced view. Anyway, this is until, um, that is until this past week. My son just returned to school and from his holiday break, and when I asked him how school was, he asked me, why we were different from his teacher. Mr. Gonzalez is so, so also a Mexican American. Is also, sorry. But he is light skinned and has a more European facial structure, whereas me and my family are more of the indigenous side. Ah, okay. Definitely needs to be brought up in the school. Yeah, I agree, 90s girl. That's a pretty messed up thing to have. Anyway, uh,. Apparently, his teacher made it a point to single out my son and said that my son's people were conquered by his people and thus civilized. Whoa! My son asked me how come that happened. He also asked that his teacher told him that he still sees him as an equal today, but if it was the 1600s, he would be his slave. Damn. Honestly, yeah, that teacher is, yep, yeah, you know, straight up. He's a foxhole. That's what he is. Like, major. Like, yeah. How fucked up is that? That's crazy. I don't get it. Why would someone do something like that? 
and like a history teacher. Holy shit, check your privilege, buddy. I thought his came a comment was wildly inappropriate for a teacher to make. I called the school and made and made told them Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm reading it, it's a little bit badly worded, but I can understand. It's all good. I called the teacher and told them, but it didn't seem but it didn't seem like it was going to be handled properly. So on Friday, I went to the school myself and walked straight to the teacher's classroom and told him he was racist and had no business being a school teacher. Yeah. Yeah. My school effectively banned me from the premises and has suspended my son until further notice. Holy crap. My husband is very upset with me. He claims I overstepped a boundary and that I was an asshole. My brother and parents agree with him. My sisters on the other hand have supported me and told me that I did the right thing. I feel vindicated, but I can't help but feel like I might have ruined my son's future at a school. Was I the asshole? Um, uh, that's a really hard one. Uh, well, honestly, I would say if you were an asshole, you were a very uh, vindicated asshole. <laughs> uh, Definitely could have done other channels. Um, school board. If the school wouldn't do something, you could push through. I don't know if they had um, PTAs or anything like that with uh, American schools. Uh, that definitely could have been something that brought up. Um, probably could have also rallied with any other um, non-Caucasian parents and families and see if they have had any of that actual... Well, interactions with this teacher, the kids that is, obviously. But honestly, you're, you're not an asshole. You are standing up for your kid who is pretty much getting put down and just really had to have a really shit teacher. Like, I... Uh, honestly, you know what? If it was me and it was my kid, I'd be going in and kicking some teeth in. <laughs> I already have. I've done stuff like this before. I've gone and told teachers off for my daughter. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to look at what people are saying. Um, saying not the asshole. The teacher definitely is. Yes, no, that's definitely it. Uh, not the asshole. Your husband, your husband is not taking... Your husband is not taking the teacher's comments seriously at all. Yes. That, that I agree on. What... Is the husband of uh, Mexican-American descent? I feel like that might be a uh, something that could be um, covered. Um, I'm looking. Okay, no, they do not say what race is the father. Because um, that might add a little bit more to the details there. Anyway, look, I'm going to say, not the butthole, but could you have handled it uh, better? Yeah, you definitely could have. Um, look, you thought you were doing the right thing and felt justified for standing up for your son because you had a really asshole teacher that's teaching him really toxic shit. Like, that's not cool. I don't like it. So, yeah, I think that's going to be my final vote on that one. All right, let's get on to the next one. Am I the foxhole for telling my boyfriend he deserved to get humbled? Okay, <laughs> I like the start of this. I, and my boyfriend, have been dating since we started college in October 2021. For the past, I'd say, eight months, my boyfriend has become very interested in UFC. Am I? <laughs> or MMA? Yeah, okay, we get the idea. He gets up at like 3 a.m. to watch fights and often has play fights with his friends. One of these friends are important to his situation. I'll call him S for short. We had a very large group of friends. We all graduated in summer, but we all kept in touch over summer until now. Now these play fights or spas, as my boyfriend would say, were all fun and games, but they actually led my boyfriend to believe he could actually fight because S, who says he does MMA, said he's naturally good. I see where this is leading to. <laughs> Setting him up for the big fall. This led to a massive ego, and he said he wanted to actually have to have an actual fight. And one of our other friends' dad owned a gym with Ring and said he could fight him there. I don't know, is that even legal? Yeah, if everyone's agreeing, it is, as long as there's proper precautions for protection. 
I think yes. S proposed a guy for him to fight, and it was a guy from school called A. S was friends with A. Not close friends. And I knew A because we used to sit next to each other in class. S said he would try to get a hold of him. A agreed, shockingly. Why not? If he's into that stuff, he just does it. Um, when A agreed, I did express some concern to my boyfriend multiple times, and he didn't listen. I, A was a, a quiet guy, but as we sat next to each other for a year, I knew probably more about him. He was pretty much just one of those traditional masculine males in a physique sense. Worked out six days a week, rode horses and did archery, owned large dogs, and was one of those guys that looked intimidating was actually a nerdy and friendly guy. My boyfriend didn't like A or A's friends, and neither did the rest of the boys in our friends group. Oh, okay. I always questioned my boyfriend on this, and A had literally never even spoken to him, and my boyfriend used to say it's because A is so arrogant that he's so good looking. This led to a lot of arguments with my boyfriend, because when my boyfriend why did my boyfriend care if another woman was attracted to A when he had me? Yep. See definitely what's happening here. Nobody knew if A could fight, but S said that he told him something about he had been training in some form of martial arts. The whole build up to this, my boyfriend was acting so childish. He constantly tried to insult A in a chat group that was made and A wouldn't even open them 90% of the time. I don't think he responded once. When the fight came along, there was only one outcome from the start. A was visibly towering over my boyfriend and had clearly bulked up. Oh, God. Uh, I don't know. Um, there's a possibility. Uh, it could swing that way, but I think A is copying everything a little bit too harshly here. I think... Um, He's just trying to do his thing and people are just being assholes. Simple as that. <laughs> uh, a, uh, and clearly, but on top of that, it turned out he could fight. My boyfriend lost in, I'd say, 90 seconds. Ooh, that sucks. <laughs> After it, I didn't bother consoling him. I berated him because I expressed my concern multiple times and he picked <laughs> picture not to listen to me he said I'm an asshole because I should support him unconditionally if I really loved him <laughs> he now won't speak to me because he says I embarrassed him in front of his friends when he was vulnerable part of me feels bad but I feel like he needed to hear the truth <laughs> okay you're an asshole for your timing alright he got his ass whooped you should have picked him up um, but definitely berate him behind closed doors and tell him he was a dickhead. Tell him he was an asshole, but um, he should have really done better to prepare because A obviously did, and he uh, he took it to you. <laughs> um, so OP, I would definitely say you're a soft asshole. You could have chose a better time to berate. <laughs> whoops, uh, to beat him down verbally, I would say, instead of straight after he got his ass handed to him. Definitely should have picked him up, took him out, and um, told him he should have known better. But hey, what can you do? Things happen. Um, hey, you were telling him the truth. You tr did try to warn him, so hence what they say, soft asshole. Nothing really big. Um, he's going to be licking his wounds for a bit, and he's going to be uh, real selfless for a very long time so I'm sorry that's something you're gonna have to put up with uh, if you want to keep putting up with that or why don't you go run off of A isn't it like you go with the winner <laughs> no 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 that's terrible don't do that <laughs> okay all right let's get on to another one uh, am I the asshole for telling my husband that things only end up fine because he waits for other people to figure oh yeah okay you're not the asshole. The husband definitely is the asshole. If he literally is one of those wait and see guys and does nothing to fix things, yeah, he's an asshole. You're not. You're just telling him the truth. But this is just reading ahead, thinking this. Let's 
you see what happens. All right, background. My husband is an educator. He's been a sub for five years now. He was supposed he was supposed to be temporary, but obviously it turned into something that is long term, costly, and with little stability. He has no retirement savings, and all benefits are paid through my job. I have been asking for years for my husband to apply for a permanent position, so we have more stability and to ease that financial burden, considering the way prices are soaring. Yep, okay, I totally agree with you on that one. Need money, everyone needs money, um, because damn life is hard and things just keep getting more and more expensive it is crap he only applied to two or three things in as many years but he didn't get hired recently he was invited to interview for a long-term assignment that he's well qualified for and got it he believes it might be permanent though no contract has materialized just pops out of nowhere <laughs> the issue Today, he mentioned he wasn't actually scheduled for any job assignment past Monday. It's Saturday. I asked him what his plan was if his assignment is not extended. He didn't say anything at first. I asked again a little bit later, but he said that I shouldn't worry, worry and I should trust him. I replied that telling me that I, telling me that didn't make me feel any better and he immediately got an attitude and I, that I was wrong for asking about a concrete plan stability man come on give the dude a break uh sorry give the woman a break i can understand stability control stability in your household is a big thing i that's a, it's like to heart for me i like stability hey uh saint just germany thank you for popping in man thank you for being first i really do appreciate that how are you doing <laughs> I didn't quite know what to say, but I was really upset. I asked him, why is he being so defensive? And he said he wasn't. I calmly said that as his wife, it was completely reasonable for me to ask for his plan. And it was a reasonable expectation for him to respond. That's what I'm saying. I'm glad to hear that, Saint. Well, hopefully you enjoy sitting in and listening to these Reddit stories. Uh, okay, where was I? Yes, he said he regretted saying anything and that he didn't want to talk about it anymore. I started crying. Oh, that's terrible. Sorry to hear that. I told him he was being defensive and that he asked why I don't trust him when he says things will be fine. I said times like these that end up making me feel bad. He went away for a bit and I cried and came back. He said, I love you. And I told him that I love you isn't good enough right now. He said that I didn't need to worry because it's okay. It is probably why I'm an asshole. I said, why? <laughs> okay, all right. Where? I, uh, I don't see where he lets other people figure it out. Shouldn't probably have said that. I'm just really trying hard to be emotion stable, but lack of communication, for for are very triggering for me. I feel it feels unreliable. How is he letting everything? just work out okay he's not telling you his plans he's not letting you know what's happening he's saying it's all good don't worry about it yeah, that that not knowing what he's going through his head yeah but i don't see the other people figure it out for him part like did i miss something i like i'm reading it Yeah, the dude got defensive about it. I don't know why he couldn't just tell if he had a plan. He probably didn't have a plan, so he's feeling a little bit um, off guard there. Oh, okay. OPS offered the following explanation for why they think they might be the asshole. I may be the asshole because I told my husband his idea of things turning out okay is someone else figuring out for him when I was in an emotional state. Ah, okay. Uh, subreddits, I really love my Am I the Asshole? They're like awesome. Um, that's like my bread and butter, but I do like to get into other stuff. Um, Oh god, being put on the spot, I can't even remember all the ones I like to hear. Uh, Bad Parents, that's another good one. Uh, Bridezillas, oh, there's all so many good ones. But in saying all that... Okay, 
Um, she got emotional, so... Uh, Uh, I don't think you're an asshole. Look, he's not giving you any foundation of trust in him. He's not giving you any backed up suddenly by. Yes, that's a good one. Thanks, Nice Girl. That is a good one to read. Um, actually, that's what you, you're you coming on next week for, aren't you, Nice Girl? We'll do some suddenly by or LGBTQ ones. I reckon that'll be good. Um, anyway, back to the whole story. Getting distracted here. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you're an asshole. You wanted to know his plan. He didn't give you a plan. He just got it's going to be all right. I don't like that. Um, got another plan. Got another group. Got to know what's going on. Hello, Anaiso. How are you? Good to see you. Thank you for popping into my Sunday Reddits. <laughs> Here to listen to who's the foxhole. All right. So, yeah, I covered that. I don't think you're an asshole. Definitely husband needs to open up to say what's going on um a bit rude with you saying that um someone else works it out for him i don't know uh i don't see any concrete proof behind that or any instances of that so yeah no. let's leave it at your you're not the asshole uh, I i'm happy with that <laughs> and am i the foxhole for calling my best friend a whore all right that sounds amazing so I and my best friend, who we'll call Nikki, have been best friends for six years and we we're always hanging out. On you, there are two... Oh, birthday on Wednesday, woot woot! Happy birthday for Wednesday! That is awesome, nothing else new. How's work? You've been getting into the action by slapping a stream stick. Oh, I was just reading out thinking someone said that, but no, it's just my stream stick is saying it slaps the stickers on, guys. <laughs> Alright, getting back on. These girls are 17 years old and they've been friends for six years. So they're 11 when they first became friends. Everything was perfect, normal, perfectly normal until my best friend started hanging out with this girl, who was another 17 female, who we'll call Alice. Alice would make up rumors about me and my mother about the most absurd things, including miscarriages, drug abuse, etc. Wow! Okay, she's the asshole, straight up. Which to conclude, none of which is true. And to add, Nikki knew about all these things Alice has said about me and my mum, but still insisted on being friends with Alice. Nikki and Alice have been staying at each other's house for over Christmas break, with, which is for two to three weeks. Uh, on December 31st, Nikki had sent a picture of her and Alice hanging out with a group of people that included Nikki's ex-boyfriend, who we will call Daniel. Alice's boyfriend, who we'll call Dan, Daniel's sister, and Daniel's cousin. Also, I forgot to add, Nikki has a boyfriend of two years that will be very important later. Uh-oh. So, after getting the picture, I just replied with a picture of myself. I then received another picture of Nikki and Alice flipping the bird at me, so I then left Nikki on scene a couple of minutes later. I then again received another picture of Nikki and Alice, but this time with both only in shorts that show half of their butt and no shirt. I once again say nothing, okay? And left Nikki on scene for five minutes later. I once again received yet another picture of Nikki and Alice, half naked, but this time with Daniel and Dan in the photo as well. I then responded with a photo of me looking confused and process to ask, okay, and proceed to ask Nikki if her and her boyfriend had broken up. Nikki had replied with a picture of her still half naked saying no, they hadn't broken up. Then had left Nikki on scene for five minutes later, Nikki had sent another photo, still half naked, but this time she was sitting on Daniel's lap while Daniel was kissing her neck. Wow. I replied with, does your boyfriend know Daniel is there? Nikki left me on scene. I told Nikki's boyfriend about Daniel being at her house and about the phone messages I had gotten from Nikki. Nikki then texted me asking why I would have told her boyfriend about the photos and about Daniel being at her place that night. I then replied with, a ho's just going to be a ho. <laughs> Ouch. That is brutal. That is so mean. <laughs> and she replied, well, I like being a ho. And sent me another picture this time. She was kissing Daniel with a hand on your his you-know-what area. 
Okay. I replied to the photo calling her a whore and asking her why would she do such a stupid thing considering her boyfriend is very nice. That would be anything that would do anything for her and put her above anything else in his life. She then blocked me on all social media after calling me a backstabbing friend for telling her boyfriend about everything. So, am I the asshole? Uh no, you are not an asshole. <laughs> Clearly what the fuck is wrong with your friend? So, do you believe that Alice is this bad influence in your life? Uh, I'm just reading some things here. Yeah, just people who agree, no, you're not the asshole. You just literally saved the presumably ex-boyfriend a lot of trouble. So that's true. <laughs> Someone's asking <laughs> curiously if she would... <laughs> uh, OP would date Nikki's ex now. <laughs> Sounds like teeny bopper drama. How old are they? They are 17. And um, just... Yeah. Uh, and lots of photos. So I'm assuming they're Snapchatting each other with all this stuff. So I'm going to say definitely not the arsehole. Uh, good on you for doing the right thing and protecting the... I'd say ex-boyfriend now. It'd have to be. Because that's crazy. That's terrible. That explains it. Yeah, not nice girl. It really, really does explain a lot. Okay. Just terrible people doing terrible things. All right, come on. Let's get on to the next one. Am I the asshole for calling my friend fat? Okay. I randomly chose once, and I might actually take a little bit of offense to this one because I was very obese when I was younger. Um lost a lot of weight still got a bit of pudge i'd say dad pudge now yeah i'll leave it at that i got dad pudge a bit of dad bod <laughs> anyway so i know all about you getting called fat and stuff like that so it, it's not a pleasant thing to be called for context one of my close friends who struggles with being overweight has recently started to go to the gym and has really been trying to become a healthier version of herself <laughs> rocking your dad bod <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Thank you, 90s girl. However, ever since she started to see results, she became a more outspoken, confident person. Always speaking her mind, no matter what she's thinking. She often calls people fat, unprovoked, and just generally seems like a more judgmental person than she was pre-workout. Oh. Oh. She's one of those people. <sighs> Look. When I go to the gym, when I was a big gym junkie, you support everyone doing it. Like, and like, if you come from being big to get to something healthy and good, you do not just go at other people about it. Like, you be nice because you know what it's like. Don't be shit. Like, seriously, don't be a shit. Don't be a shit person. Anyways, I recently started to date a guy for a month now. I really like him and when I was telling my friend about him she asked to see a picture <laughs> I showed her his picture continuing to talk him up telling how happy I am she then proceeded to say yeah he's got a hot face but he's just too twiggy oh god she's twig shaming now really thin shaming right okay she has issues she clearly hasn't been able to come to terms with herself I asked her what she meant, which followed with her saying, I mean, he's just too skinny. I'm just used to dating gym guys, but I guess that's your type. Wow. <laughs> really? Come on. No. That's mean. I then said, at least he's not fat, obviously referring to her, which she has become very upset about. <laughs> feel awful about it she's my friend and i'm not a fat phobic person nor have i ever com commented on her weight like that my other friend told me she deserved it but i'm currently just juggling between what i should apologize to her or not look is she still big um look i know look okay look yeah you're an asshole for doing that right you didn't need to do that you could have said hey look uncalled for why are you being mean what's your problem 
like where's it where's your head at do better you know you're doing better about your body do better about your mind eh i think that's what you needed to say you didn't need to call her out for the fat i don't think that was really nice um because it's harsh so i'm gonna say you're a minor asshole on that one but your friend really needed to be checked in because she sounds like she's being a real bitch about stuff but um you do see that you really do which is sad because you go to the gym to improve yourself not to like put other people down like, feel good about being you getting better and other people are happy with who they are you know rock it man go for it i'm not going to freaking criticize your lifestyle it's you not me anyway i'm gonna get on another one am i the asshole Sun Stepmom posting family announcements for clout. Oh, yeah. You should never put someone down based on body. Uh, you're definitely not a friend if you do. No, I wholeheartedly agree. Like, what's your problem? Like, yeah, don't be, don't be a bitch. Just be nice. Be nice to each other. Give high fives. That works. You know, high five. Yeah, don't worry about it. I think that works. Give it a fist bump. This one's cool. Anyway, my son's dad remarried when he, son, was in his late 20s. The new wife seemed nice at first, and I liked her. However, after she lost a significant amount of weight from a MLM program she endures. MLM? Some, I, I don't know what a L M MLM program. Okay, like, bear with me. I'm going to check this out. Oh, well. <laughs> out of nowhere, I get told it is a pyramid scheme. All right, so it is weight loss from a pyramid scheme. All righty, she became increasingly obsessed with social media. Ah, oh, that definitely, definitely explains a lot of stuff there. Good on her, as she should be proud of her journey. However, she began using my son's milestones as her own. Ooh, claiming other people's milestones? Dude, not cool. Making claims that can continue to insinuate my son was her biolog biological child with my ex. Oh. It bothered me. FBI, open up! <laughs> oh, good one. <laughs> oh, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> good job. <laughs> uh, okay. You, oh, you, you made me jump so much. I lost where I was. Okay. It bothered me until she began sharing family milestones as her own. From my son's engagement to his wedding and so on. I side-eyed for the most part, but as her online presence intensified, announcing my grandson's arrival before our family had the chance, it became increasingly uncomfortable. Ooh, that's a bit rude. We grew up in the same city, around the same peers, and she ate up all of the congratulations, making this really awkward and felt quite offended and overshadowed. That was a very weak scream. That was so weird, that one. <laughs> uh, I commented on the post, outing her, but then quickly deleted it. Oh no, wait, I missed a bit from that. Oh yeah, no, no. She was doing all the likes and attention. I had become quite frustrated. I commented on the post, outing her, but then quickly deleted it. I am not here to embarrass her. My son has also talked to her about her behavior, but she has continued. I reached out to her privately. There was never a reply, only that she blocked me so I could no longer see her post. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yet, I still hear her... I still hear about them via mutual friends. This is short, uh, quite the short version of her betrayal is so much more intense. My ex is not posting anything and is aware of how it is making me feel, but his wife's... But he's got his wife's back, as he should. Okay, he's doing the right thing, but he probably could be telling her, you know, knock that shit off. I think that would be good. Though I feel like he should advocate a bit more respect along with boundaries. What I just said, exactly. If you had nothing to go with... She had nothing to do with my child's upbringing and has only spent a small handful of time with him, never one-on-one. -on -one. I just need to know if I'm overreacting. I just find the whole thing disrespectful and she keeps 
stepping over boundaries. The wife prior to this one has two sons who's absolutely dis absolutely despise the new wife and has broken ties with her father. I am torn if whether or not I am wrong for feeling the way I do, or if my feeling is valid. Am I the asshole? Oh, my green screen. <laughs> you can see that? Oh, it's a flaring up. My apologies. I don't actually stop and see that. My, um, but thank you for bringing that attention to that one. Anyway, look. I think you're valid. Look, you're not an asshole. This woman is, like, really just trying to get the clout. She just wants those engagements. Like, I've seen it. People just literally doing anything for that engagement get those views up and you know become an influencer and if she's part of a pyramid scree uh pyramid scheme thank you then um she's obviously trying to do it to get her some more money but yeah no she definitely does not sound like a fun person and i think the husband or ex-husband for her, the op should really pull her in the line but I don't see that happening. Uh, OP is off with the following explanation why I think there might be the butthole. I want to know if I'm the asshole because I reacted step on social media with anger and spite. I need to know if I should have let her be or if it was right for me to speak up, letting her know that she stepped over boundaries. Look, simple fact is, people don't know they're stepping over boundaries unless you tell them. Right? If they don't know or willingly know, things don't get done if it isn't brought to attention. Simple as that. She is stepping over things. She needs to be told, hey, look, you're doing the wrong thing. It's simple as that. So, no, you're not the asshole. You're justified. And, you know, i do more about it. And, I don't know, try to really get the ex-husband to get a backbone or some shit like that. Oh, I saw, I just saw what you're on about, Inezo, or about the little green screen up the top corner, like, I was up here. My apologies on that one. Okay. I think I got time for one more, guys. I think that'd be a bit of fun. Ooh, am I the arsehole for not allowing my mum to see, and sister to see my baby? Okay, this is going to be a little bit of an interesting Long story short, my mum and I have a very, very rocky history. Oh my god, I, um... Alright, straight up here, I already have connections to a story like this. See how things go. I haven't forgiven her for it, but as of recent, I've become a new mum to my beautiful daughter. My mum, before I went into labour, was discussing celebrating my dead brother's birthday without me with my sister. It was the day I gave birth. It's a very important moment for me to be there and I've never missed his birthday and I'm very close to him. Even my sister and I are not getting along, I didn't want her at the hospital. She verbally abused me, insult me, tell me to eat shit and die. Oh, Jesus Christ. What a lovely sister. Um, uh, verbally abused me if I was 10 minutes late or couldn't come to her beck and call in the middle of a date or if I was busy. Always told my secrets that mentally protect me. Things I confided in her were confided in the family when unnecessary. Constantly tried to humiliate me, etc. Jeez, bitch of a sister. So I didn't want her there, meaning I couldn't celebrate with them. They made me, they made up my mind for me before I even woke up to read text. I expressed I was upset and how I wanted to be there. Things got heated because anything I said was downplayed or over overshadowed by my sister. I told my mum not to come to her birth. I was already at risk for preeclampsia and my BP was really high from the stress they put me through during pregnancy with all the fighting. My mum not respecting my boundaries and constantly telling, trying to replace my hubby with herself saying she's the grandma planting things in my head saying to go behind his back to get an apartment don't tell him because he will leave me etc there was a lot of holy fuck what a toxic mom the day before the birth in which i told her not to come she proceeded to lash out saying fuck you 
a hundred million times telling me to have a nice life that she would never forgive me that she is my baby's grandma she wasn't right for me to not let her see my baby she never checked on me after birth until my dad told her i was upset about it where she gave the blandest apology when i I'd reinstate my boundary respectfully. She retracted the apology and anything she said in it. It went as far as her messaging my man's mom behind my back to try and gain her sympathy and flip the narrative. Oh, oh my god. That is fucking crazy. Immediately after our fight, she went to my sister's house. She kept trying to message me and buying my daughter, me, and hubby Christmas gifts. I don't accept them as we're not on good terms. Tells me she's sorry, then she was just angry, but that's always the excuse. Nobody in my family generally understands why I can't let go of it and forgive her and let her into my life and family. They've been put through the same thing and keep trying to convince me I should let her back. None of my friends want me to talk to her as they've read the screenshots and lived with me through my childhood with her and my dad. Am I the asshole? Uh, no, you are definitely not the asshole. You need to fucking block your family out of your life. Like, God on truth, we've already acted... How I said this has a little bit to do with me. This has to do with one of my kids. We have chosen to have nothing to do with my partner's um, family because they are scummy, crappy people. And they do this lying and manipulating shit. Like the mother is fucking known for bullshitting and lying and telling giant stories that you just feel your brains leak out of your head. So no, you are not the asshole. You're justified. You need to get the fuck out of there. Block her. Block them all. Nothing to do with you. Get rid of them all. They're all toxic pieces of shit. Okay, so I'm probably saying that with a little bit of extra energy there because I know what it's like to have narcissistic, nasty parents. Right? You come across them, they're everywhere. You see them, it's just terrible. So, um, it, 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 it's crap. But anyway, yeah. Uh, okay, so, oh, I've got some more information. I blocked my mum and sister. I also don't allow them to see my daughter who is now five months. My mum claims to miss me and that I'm wrong for holding my daughter from her. My sister calls me crazy and doesn't acknowledge the abuse she has put me through and it wasn't going to stop whether I was pregnant or with a newborn baby. I need to focus on me and my family, especially my daughter, but I feel as though I would would have been punished by my sister for doing so. My mum was very manipulative the entire pregnancy, my entire life and up until birth. It played a very bad emotional turmoil on me, but I love them both so much that I honestly allow myself to convince myself that I'm doing something majorly wrong by blocking out their kind of offers and accessibility to me and my family. Yeah, no. Get the fuck out of there. How about, like, is there an update to tell me anything else? There's no update. I need an update. I really did need an update with that one. <laughs> That's horrible shit. I'm not happy with that. Um, no, she needs to get the fuck out of there. That's terrible. It's crap. It's no good. Get away. Block the family. Nothing to do with them. Alright guys, you know what? That was really good. I had a lot of fun. I read a lot of stories. I'm going to give my voice a little break now. Thank you so much for popping in and seeing the show. I really appreciate you all. Thanks for having me play around with some noises on me, Anaza. I really appreciate you being in here. Uh, Night is cool. Thank you also for popping in. I am doing it as Sunday Reddit. So every Sunday I will be in. I will be in doing readings. I'm going to try to get back into doing my gaming every week as well. I'm going to figure out the time for that. I'm thinking Wednesdays will be a good time for it. But I will have to see how my life proceeds. But it is a definite set thing that Sundays will be my Reddit stories. Uh, as, and I'm going to try to have guests. And I saw... <laughs> I'm sorry, Anasaur. Thank you for correcting me finally, Anasaur. I really, really appreciate that you have done that for me. 
I sucked at it. I have sucked at it for years. You've never correct me, and now you have, and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, yeah, so as I was saying, Reddit stories every Sunday. I'm going to have guests. Um, I'm going to have someone live. Roxy or Foxy? I know, but, you know, I, I'm trying to use screen names just to, so people know. But you're right, Roxy. I can definitely do that. Or Foxy. I can do either either. So don't worry. I will do better for next time I see you. <laughs> um, so anyway, guys, I am wrapping up. Thank you so much for coming and watching. Don't forget to, if you're watching this at a later time, like subscribe give us a comment tell me which story you like tell me if i read anything wrong or if you disagreed with i really appreciate to hear what you're saying come on engage let's boost me up a little bit <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much and i uh, will have to catch you all during the next stream